everybody happy wax on wednesdays this week it's spring and everything here where i'm at is currently in bloom even though it is snowing this morning so hopefully those blooms will hold through the end of the week it's more like a flurry it's not a full-on snow but it is a little bit cold so hopefully those blooms can hold on for a few more days i thought it would be a lot of fun to do some photo encaustic this week and um, sort of get caught up with all of the photography that I've been doing with the spring blooms. So I've got a lot of photographs that are ready to be mounted and, um, and added, have encaustic added to them. So I thought it would be fun to do some spring photo encaustic this week. So this is a really quick video and I have lots of videos here on the YouTube channel for um, photo encaustic, how I mount my paper and all sorts of things that you can dive into and, and view right here on the YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to dive deeper into encaustic or cold wax painting, then you can always join me for a full workshop um, of which there's 18 now online workshops available on sherryrepogel.com or you can join me for little short um, workshops every single week on the Patreon channel. And I always get a lot of comments of asking what products I use, what tools I use, maybe what paint colors I'm using in each video. And if you look at the, con the commentary right below this video, it always has a blog post for each and every video. So if you click on that link, it should take you right over to the blog post for that week over on sherryreplogal.com. And on that blog post, it'll have all of the supplies that I used that week and all of the tools. So you can easily see my color palette, my tools, everything that I used for that week, I post for you over on the blog so that you can see pictures of the, um, of the items and also that you know what they look like, you know what to look for if you're looking in your own art store and, um, and you can easily see everything that I'm using. So I always do that for you and sometimes they're a little bit late posted just a little bit later than the video and one of the reasons for that is that I need the address of the video so I could add it to the blog post so the blog post always comes after the video but sometimes like today it's going to be posted later on tonight so this video is going to post this afternoon and then the blog post will be a little bit later tonight when I get back to the office I'll make the full blog post but I promise it'll be there tonight so you can see everything that I used. And if you're just joining us here on Wax on Wednesdays, then welcome to the channel. And I hope that you will look around. There is hundreds of videos to check out here on Wax on Wednesdays with almost everything, um, every aspect of encaustic and some other types too, some cold wax, some, some pores, some resin. There's a little bit um, of everything going on here, but mostly encaustic. So I hope that you uh, will check that out. And I hope that spring has finally started to bloom wherever you're at. It's just starting out here. It's kind of going back and forth. Like I said, this morning is a little bit um, sort of flurries, snow flurries, but hopefully the sun will be back soon. And whatever spring brings you, whether you enjoy plein air painting or photography or um, just getting outdoors, maybe some cyanotypes, um, things that um, you can do outdoors. I hope that you're enjoying spring and creating outside. I've been being pulled outside every single time the sun comes out. I want to go and create some cyanotypes. I want to get out there and get some photographs, whether they're reference photos for my paintings or actual um, photographs that I want to create photo encaustic for. I've been really drawn outside every time the sun uh, peeks through, which hasn't been a whole lot yet, but I'm hopeful in the next couple weeks that it'll be a uh, more frequent. So what is your favorite way to create outdoors? Is it photography? Is it cyanotypes, gardening, plein air painting, encaustic? I know a lot of students have outdoor studios and they be first begin their encaustics for the year when um, the spring comes and they don't do it um, during the winter. So what is your favorite way of celebrating spring? What do you create when spring comes? I'd really be interested to know. 
leave a comment on this video on what is it that you like to create outdoors in the spring and what gets you motivated? What is get you motivated getting outside, creating outside? If there's something that you love in the springtime, then tell us about it in the comments below. So thanks so much for joining me this week on Wax on Wednesdays and I hope you have a lot of fun with this video. Check out the other videos on Wax on Wednesdays and we will see you next week. Happy creating!